Hi, Tobies. We are going to make porch tiki skulls for around the garden. That's not what they're going to look like, and they're going to look better than that. I was just giving an example. Um, these are really, really cool. You guys are going to be like, I got to make those. So I got the skulls from the Dollar Tree. There you have it. So when I give you all the dimensions for cutting everything, you're going to know like exactly where to cut it by the lines on his head. Um, but first, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give me a thumbs up, please. Okay, so what we're doing here is we got tiki torches. I had a couple ones laying around, and I haven't been using them because they're crummy looking. Well, this one not so much, but, and I thought, what can I do with those? As much as I like skulls, I was going for a Pirates of the Caribbean type of, you know, that feel. So, that's what we're doing. First, we're going to cut the skull, and it's real simple. So, there's a line on his head right there. It's like a crack, you know. So, you're going to go right above that, and you're just going to cut the top in a total circle. Um, cut his cranium off. So, I'll show you when I'm done cutting. does not have to be perfect because we want them to look a little like they've been out for a thousand years like that so you know we don't want it to be perfect so then you're gonna cut that's what I did to the top if you can see that okay and then I'm gonna cut along his teeth okay and we're gonna cut his whole jaw off like you've seen in my video where I did the concrete skulls when we cut the jaw off, the bottom portion, that's what we're doing here. So you just want his top teeth in there. I mean, you could, I guess you could make it where the, uh, whole face is on there, but I would, I don't want mine like that. Sometimes you, you almost wish you were ambidextrous. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. See that? Okay. Like I said, it don't have to be perfect. Alright. Now, you're probably thinking that's not going to fit. No, it isn't. But here's the key. Instead of making that hole really big down there, you're just going to put a slit right down the back because we're going to use twine to hold it on, but that's what makes it look so cool and old is the twine. All right, so there's our skull. I cut him down the back, and you're just going to wrap him right around the tiki torch like that okay now you could cut them any way you want to you can put them down further if you want which that's probably what I'm gonna do like right about there okay so now once we've done that we don't want to stain him until he's here so I all you have to do is just give him a light scuffing with sanding paper any kind of sanding paper it don't matter because we don't want the stain to be real dark. So, he'll pretty much stay there. And then I'm just using just regular dark walnut stain. It's just what I had laying around in one of these foam brushes. And so, and make sure you do this outside. So we're gonna brush it on. Just 
get in all the grooves, let it soak in there a little bit. If it gets on a torch, it's no big deal. It just gives it that better look, that aged look. I got him all stained. And now I'm just going to wipe it off. Lightly. I mean, you could do it off of it, but it's going to be cocky to work with. I mean, you could stain them while they're off and let it dry after you wipe it and then put them on it, but not for purposes of showing you guys. I was doing it this way. So, see the difference in him? him. He, he's, he's darker. He looks more aged. I like that. Now, all we have to do is put him where we want him. So I want him right about there. Just get some that jute twine. And get it anywhere. I got them like three for a buck, I think, at like world of values years ago so then just cut whatever length so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it up around his eye down around his back maybe down like that you could do them all different like Put the twine around them, like, just be creative with it. Up around the top, and then tie it. I'm going to leave some of that hang. It'll just add to the look of them. And then just take another long piece, about a yard. Bring it back around. You can do whatever you want, really. I think I'm going to keep with that up around his eye theme, but I want to tie it so this ties in the front. You'll see what I mean why in a minute. So I'm just going to go up. I'm going to go back the other way I came. tight you're not going to hurt anything and you just kind of move the strings around to where you want them okay there he is you see it you like it Really? And then put your put down in. See how you can have them all different. But the the jute is what is the trick. It just makes them look really cool. I'm sure you could like add some stuff into it, maybe a piece of metal in there. Um, like to make it look like barbed wire. You know what I'm saying? You could probably even stain some of the jute on there. I'm going to mess with them and then I'll be back to show you what I did. <laughs> 